What's going on guys, back with another video today. I'm gonna to be going over some recent pickups. Uh, I think they're all from eBay. Uh, before I start, just like to say, if you enjoy it, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Uh, and if you haven't yet subscribed, it really helps the channel grow. And I really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get into it. So first up, a little PC card, John Wall rookie out of 9.99. I like picking these up for cheap when I can. Got this for like $5, you know, nothing crazy. Um, but I think numbered rookie um, of my main PC guy for five bucks, pretty cool. And then next up, um, I paid under ten dollars for this. Not exactly sure what I paid, can't remember, but it's numbered five of five. National Treasures uh, base card. Again, not a you know super cool card, but number to five, really low numbered. Um, been getting lucky on some John Wall auctions, especially with these uh lower numbered cards so yeah I think that's a, a decent one and then a guy that I'd like to have a couple more cards of eventually uh, is Dirk um, you know uh, an all-time great power forward so I think his stuff is uh is pretty well by actually he's a he's a pretty expensive guy if you're looking to pick up his stuff but this 07 tops uh, number to 50 a tough pull obviously tops chrome is uh, a lot cooler but these are uh, these are cool cards, the bronze, and it's the uh, 57th anniversary. But yeah, hopefully I can get some uh, some more dirt. But for now, that's a pretty decent one. And then I actually already have one of these in a BGS nine, but I got this for like three dollars. Um, it's probably worth about thirty, so ten times that. This is a first year optic hollow. First year optic hasn't been doing uh, very good, but. You know, Giannis is one of the best players in the league. I think he's got a shot to be one of the greatest players of all time, statistically at least. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't pass this up when it was just so cheap. Um, I guess the guy didn't realize it was a hollow or something. I, I don't know, but I scooped that out pretty quickly. I've been getting lucky with that, too. I just got another one today for a card. I got, like, you know, a fifth of the price to buy it now. So uh, there's still some... Uh, some steals to be had on eBay if you, you know, hunt, uh, if you hunt enough. And then this next card is a big one. Got two big cards here today. This first one, I actually made a short on it when I got it, um, because I was just so excited for it. 2008 Bowman Chrome. That's why I got the uh, Isaiah Thomas in the background there. Uh, the Shaq. I have, you know, a decent amount of Shaq, but I didn't really have like a big you know, staple card for my collection, number to 50. Um, and I really wanted this one when I saw it. So got it at what I think was a pretty solid deal, paid a little over $300 for it after, you know, shipping fees, taxes, all that, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, really happy with this. And it's, uh, it's cleaner than I thought. I thought there was like a little dimple here, but I cannot find anything. So I think I might be getting this graded pretty soon. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's a really sweet card. Really, really happy to have that. Been going crazy over these, uh, lower numbered, uh, you know, Topps Chrome and Topps Chrome type cards. So yeah, that collection is gonna be growing quite a bit here over the next few months. And then this next card is probably my favorite card that I own now. Um, I lost this auction, but I guess the guy didn't pay, so... The uh, seller relisted it, and I want it for cheaper than it sold for the first time. Um, to my knowledge, this is the only pack pulled John Wall Bradley Beal Dual Auto. It's the only time it's ever come up for sale, um, so I had to get it. It's from 1415 Immaculate 2, which is uh, when I started collecting, so this is just, you know, perfect for me. <laughs> um, this is an amazing card. I think they made a Panini Instant John Wall Bradley Beal Dual Auto. But Immaculate's um, a lot better than Instant, so that, uh, to me, is just a crazy card. I'm going to got that Dr. J T-Mac Dual Auto back there. Trying to hint at what's coming up in the background. Um, and yeah, just as a John Wall collector and a Wizards fan, this is uh, this was just a must-have. I, I couldn't imagine passing it up, um, you know, and claiming to be a John Wall collector, but... When I lost it the first time, I, I mean, I just felt like I was never so sad about losing an auction before. 
And then a few weeks later, I saw it pop up again, and I was just, I knew I had to get it, started saving up, selling stuff. So yeah, really, really happy about that. Um, but that'll do it for the video. A um, couple pretty big cards here. Nothing crazy, though, as far as all the other stuff. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, um, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, if you're new, subscribe. If you got something to say, drop down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. So uh, thanks for watching.